Christmas. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, your one stop shop for international management on Football Manager 2021. So make sure you go and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if that's the kind of action you're interested in. We're back with another episode of Postcards from Comoros. Today, we travel to the FIFA Arab Cup. Let's see if we can pull off a shock or two. Yes, that's right, the FIFA Arab Cup. You might not have heard of this. You might be wondering where it is in the game. Well, let me remind you, this is one of my created international competitions. It is a real competition. It's been announced by FIFA. It's set to take place at the end of this year, 2021, in Qatar as a kind of dress rehearsal for the World Cup. It will involve 22 nations from the Arab Union, I think it is. There's a football union as well, the UAFA, for all the Arabic-speaking countries and their football teams. So all of them are sending representatives. So as Comoros, we go into the preliminary round. And as you can see over here, we've got a pretty tough draw against Kuwait. Now this initial round, it's the 12, I believe, 12 lowest-ranked teams just a single elimination match. Winners then advance to the group stage where they join the 10 top-ranked teams. So the likes of Egypt and Qatar, the hosts, and UAE, Saudi Arabia, Tunisia, Morocco, they're all waiting in the group stage. We've got Kuwait to get past. Now, Kuwait might sound like obvious favourites, but just look up here. We are now ranked 116th in the world. Kuwait are 110th, so there's not much in it. If the FIFA World Rankings, that infallible system that it is, is to be believed. And how did we get up to 116th in the world? Well, through a series of friendlies that we've played since that disappointing defeat to Zimbabwe in the Kosafa Cup quarter-final, which was, of course, in the last episode. Go and check that out if you haven't done so already. We beat Somalia for one we then picked up a series of draws um, away to Oman, which I thought was good preparation for this particular competition. We then travelled to Belarus, of all places, where we got a 1-1 draw. Very credible 1-1 draw. In fact, it was an own goal from Hakim Abdallah that denied us a win there. We then played Mozambique. Pretty boring 0-0 draw. And we beat Sudan 2-0 in our warm-up for this tournament. So... We're feeling pretty, you know, optimistic. I wouldn't say that we are the strongest team in the competition by any stretch. The draw for the preliminary round, I mean, we missed out some really easy teams like Djibouti, Somalia, and Mauritania. We got one of the tougher draws we could have got, but, you know, we'll take it on. The squad looks pretty much the same, I think, as the Kosafa Cup. You just see... Uh, well, maybe you can't see because the star ratings are behind my head, but it's up front again where, apart from Ben, we just don't have anyone with that higher rating. Our midfield, most of the players are decent. Defence is pretty good, especially in the full-back positions and the goalkeeper, but no depth in the striker position at all. So yeah, here's a full draw for today's preliminary round. I mean, yeah, I kind of wish we could have drawn, you know, one of those African teams that are here, our fellow African teams, or Sudan, or Somalia, Djibouti, it would have been easier, but, you know, Kuwait, Libya, Lebanon, Bahrain, these were the real tough teams in this round, and unfortunately, we got one of them. All right, so this is how we're lining up. Ahamada in goal, Zahari in Mbe in the centre of defence, Ali Mohamed and Al Hadur in those wing-back positions um Changama is partnering Bacharu in the middle of the park. Mogni in that attacking midfield position. Salamani and Yusuf in the wing positions, the wide positions. Ben up front. So that's our strongest team out there immediately. But let's see if it's strong enough. We'll just show everyone what they're capable of. That didn't really strike a chord with the team at all. But We'll just do the best we can. Remember that we uh, 
we're featuring this tournament. It could be that it's just one episode. Hopefully it will be more than one episode. Not if we're going to play like this, going behind after one minute. Uh, we then also, we do have the African Cup of Nations coming up very shortly. We're playing this in November, the Arab Cup in November, December 2021. The uh, African Cup of Nations is coming up in January 2021. Uh, 2022 sorry so we'll feature that as well then there will be more rounds of the Kosafa Cup but um, we might just do some highlights of those our next target is one of my other created competitions the Indian Ocean Island Games which is one that we might actually have a shot of winning if you'd like a little prelude of what the Indian Ocean Islands Games is all about go and check out FM Greeno's channel as Ben equalizes four minutes in it's 1-1 one, one already. Yes, FM Greeno uh, did the Indian Ocean Island games on his channel. Thank you very much to him for that. He played with Mauritius, um, actually beat Comoros in, in the tournament, spoiler alert. But uh, go and check that out. Um, but yeah, also stick around for the Indian Ocean Island games here on my channel. Right, we've got a chance here to make it 2-1 perhaps. No. Yusuf, can he win the race to the ball? I hate it when the two defenders just stay on the halfway line. I mean, surely... Oh my god, they've scored off that. Surely one of those defenders there should have pushed up. I mean, let's see if it shows up in the replay. Not quite, but the two defenders... Okay, I told them to stay back. When that ball broke, one of them should have run to it. They could have easily got there and just laid it off to one of our players. And then we wouldn't be 2-1 down. Oh, dangerous position here for Kuwait. Oh, it just goes over. We survive that one. We've got to get to half time without going 3-1 down. If we can make it 2-2 before half time, that'd be great. But, um, I mean, looking at it, we've come into our own in, in that half. We haven't seen it in the highlights, but we've had more shots. Uh, we've got a better XG. So we're obviously posing a threat to the Kuwaitis. It just hasn't translated into goals on the pitch yet. I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. No. No way. Show them what you're all about in the second half. That didn't work either. Uh, I'm trying to tell them they can improve. That didn't work. So I'll tell them I'm not happy. Not my best half-time team talk, that one. Anyway, let's get out into the second half. I'm not making any tactical tweaks for now because we have had that that edge in the stats. So I want to see if we can keep that going in the second half. We've got a chance here. Al Hadur, he play, lays it off for Bacharou. Can we get the through ball or is he going to fire off a shot? Oh, that was so unlucky. Hit the woodwork there. We have very nearly made it 2-2 early in the second half. But we've got a chance here. Mchangama whips it in the free kick. This time Al Hadar slowly ambles towards the ball, but he does play it out to Mchangama. Yusuf with the shot. Thunderbolt. Get in. Foot like a traction engine. A Comoron traction engine. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Oh, good. See, when the defenders do push up off the halfway line, it gets results, but beautiful turn by Yusuf. I'm sure everybody thought he was going to just keep his back to goal and lay it off, but he did a quick turn, fired off the bullet shot, and uh, we're about to go 3-2 down, aren't we? Oh, dearie me. Straight into a Kuwaiti highlight at least. Oh, they've lost it. Ben knocks the man down, gets the ball. Are we going to steal the goal here? Oh, the cross is caught by the keeper. I think the highlight's going to continue because neither side have actually had a shot yet. The Kuwaitis can't get on top of that. Okay, let's build patiently from the back. salamani has got time. He switches the flanks. Yusuf's got the overlap if he sees him. He does. Ali Mohammed now getting in the cross, hopefully. Come beat your man. Gets in the cross from the byline. And it hit the bar. I'm sure that was not his intention. But that's a rather interesting highlight. Right, time to think how we can switch things around. So I'm thinking we put Nchangama into a more advanced position where he can play. And we bring on someone perhaps for Mogni. Yeah, bring in Bohani for Mogni. That kind of improves things a bit. And I'm a bit concerned about Al Hadur. So we're going to bring him off for Abdallah. Get that yellow card 
off the pitch. Tell them to go out there and make a difference. Let's see if it works. It will be extra time and penalties if we're unable to break the deadlock. Or it should be, anyway. I should know. I set the rules. Anyway, 20 minutes to go now. We're still tied 2-2. Two -two. Who's going to get the edge in this game? It could be either team, to be honest. Both teams have threats going forward. But it's Comoros. Burhane out to Ali Mohamed. Ali Mohamed to Salamani. Have we hit the bloody crossbar again there? Or was that a goalkeeper save? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll praise the team. You're doing well, boys. Let's keep it going. Keep it going up to the final whistle. Keep pushing for that winner. Right, we're going to go into extra time. You see me there doing the old workout, getting the fists going. Let's see what we can do. Kuwait did not create anything in that second half. Barely anything. That's the kind of momentum we need to carry forward. Okay, don't let this slip away from you. That's the message we go with. That seems to have worked with a few of them. I've got Bacharu, who seems complacent. Um, I'm telling him I'm not happy he's still complacent. All right, Salamani is demotivated. I've got faith in you he's still demotivated. Let's just get out there for the extra time. I've kept a substitute handy. I think we might we might benefit from fresh legs as we get deeper into this extra time. Possibly the first period's going to pass without any highlights whatsoever. There you go. Right, so we will make that final substitution now. I've got Rafiki Saeed. He's a winger. He's looking motivated. So let's bring him on. What's his penalty taking attribute? Five. Hmm. Not the best. I've also got Saeed Bakari penalty taking four. All right. We've got Maddie who could come on penalty taking four. Bloody hell. Uh, the only other option would be this guy, Yusuf, whose penalty taking is seven. So he's the best of a bad bunch. So he could come on at right back. Uh, but then I'd be taking off penalty taking six, which seems like it might actually be one of our best. So I could bring him on for the other Yusuf. I don't know if they're related. I should look into that. He's the penalty taking ten. Hmm. All right, that's what we're going with. Yusuf for Yusuf. We'll worry about the penalty takers later. I've got faith in you, son. Get out there. 15 minutes. Cause hell for the Kuwaiti defence. We deserve to win this. Come on, boys. All right, here we go. We've got a chance. Bachiru. Burhane. Get it out wide. You've got a man and mark there. But okay, he goes to the other side. Abdallah. Abdallah is going to get the cross in. He gets in. No, nothing happens there. There was a challenge, but no no shot, no penalty shout. It looks like we're going to the full 120 minutes. In No, oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Are Kuwait going to steal this now? Yes, they are. Oh, my God. What the hell was that? That has got to be the worst goal I've ever seen conceded in FM. L look at that. Behind, what is the goalkeeper doing there? I, uh, this is speechless. Absolutely speechless. I mean, look. Oh, that is ridiculous. Oh. We should have won that in normal time. We should have won that in extra time. We lose it on 120 plus 2. To possibly the softest goal ever. I guess Ahamada just... Didn't fancy facing penalties? Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Although he responded positively, I'm going to throw. Let's throw a water bottle at him. He's still motivated, at least. Oh, dearie me, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. <sighs> Defeat in the Arab Cup. Preliminary round. Ooh, actually, I better check the um, expectations. Uh, there is no board expectation. Okay, I suppose that's good. Well, the FIFA Arab Cup didn't last very long. We don't get to go through to the group stage. I will just skip ahead shortly to see what happened in the rest of the tournament. We'll be back in January, so in just about five weeks' time for the African Cup of Nations. Ah... <sighs> Okay, that was only one option to have in the team meeting. I was going to 
kind of talk you through how I do international team meetings. But, you know, if there's only one option, <laughs> there's not much to talk about. But at least it went well. All right, so I've skipped ahead a couple of weeks. We still haven't quite got to the end of the Arab Cup yet, but we have had our draw for the African Cup of Nations, which is going to be our next episode. And pretty tough group, it has to be said, for poor old Comoros. We've been drawn with Algeria, one of the favourites for the competition. We've also got Burkina Faso and Mali, who of course were in our qualification group, so I think we're going to do very well to progress from there. Right, so there we have it. The Arab Cup is over. It took a week longer than it should have for some reason in the schedule, but Syria were the eventual winners. 3-0 in the final. If we just have a look back to the various stages of the competition, you see Kuwait, who knocked us out. They went into a tough group with Morocco, Qatar and Iraq, where it uh, got eliminated without registering any further victories. Morocco and Qatar were the team's to go through there, um, just looking if there were any big shocks in the tournament, perhaps UAE going out, although again, Tunisia and Syria were the teams to go in ahead of them. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia um, only picked up one win, but managed to scrape through in second place, and yet they would go on to win in the quarterfinal, and also to win in the semi-final, beating Morocco. And, you know, despite only winning one group game, they got all the way to the final, only to be beaten by Syria. So pretty interesting competition, that, the FIFA Arab Cup. Um, some quite interesting teams in there, some quite um, big teams in there, big-name players as well. You've got the likes of Egypt, Algeria, of course, Tunisia and Morocco, always good teams, and then, obviously, Syria and Saudi Arabia, the finalists, and some of those teams from the Arabian Gulf as well so a competition definitely worth downloading and checking out links in the description right but that's it from me for today next episode we'll be back for the African Cup of Nations tournament it'll probably only be one episode with highlights of the group stage and us getting eliminated but you know that's what life of the minnow football nation manager is all about. So thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.